Sometimes when translating in MMOQ, we run into situations where tags contain text that needs to be translated. That might be in the attribute of an XML tag, for example, that isn't extracted, or in the case we have here, we have some tags that were created with the regex tagger. Uh, these are structures in a file that needed to be protected, but the tagging routine was a little bit overzealous and caught some text that was in fact in need of translation. Uh, an example of that is shown here. Uh, down in the view pane, you can see sign in with password is selected. And if you look up at the tag in the target cell for uh, segment number two, you can see that that is in fact enclosed in that large red tag. So how do we access that text in order to translate it? We do that by going to the memo queue edit ribbon. And on the edit ribbon, you'll see that there are a number of options for working with tags. One of them is tag commands. And if we look at the drop down menu for tag commands, one of those commands is to edit the inline tag. So let's go ahead and choose that option. And in the dialog, we see the text displayed, as a matter of fact, twice under something called display text and then another one VAL, which is short for value. So in order to make the changes, you select one of these items and then select the part of that that needs to be translated and translated. Okay, I've done that here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this and copy it using Control C. And now I'll click Save and watch how it changes that in the value for display text. Okay, now we need to do the same thing for the second item, VAL. So I'm going to select that text and simply paste in the text that I've copied. Okay, we'll click Save here again. And as you can see, that's all translated. So now we click OK in the dialog. And when you look at the text in the red tag in the target cell for segment number two, you can see that it now contains German text instead of the English text that was embedded in the tag. Okay, so we can confirm that and go on down to the next segment. And here again, we can see some more text where it says email account activation instructions. That will also need to be translated in the same way. Now, if you're doing this sort of thing rather often, you might want to add the tag commands to, for example, your quick access ribbon. The way that you can do that is by right clicking in the ribbon somewhere and choose customize the ribbon and here for example we can go over to the edit commands that will contain all of the commands that you'll find on the edit ribbon and we'll go down to the section for tags and select tag commands and then over on the right side of the dialog we'll choose quick access which is for the quick access ribbon and we'll go and look under tags. And you'll notice there, that as, as you can see in the ribbon itself, that that tag commands option is not included in the tag section of the quick access ribbon by default. Don't ask me why, it was simply the choice of uh, the software producer. So we'll go ahead and make sure tag commands is selected and simply click add. And as you can see, that's now been added to the various options for tags on the Quick Access ribbon. And so when we click OK, we should see that change implemented on the Quick Access ribbon, which is displayed. And in fact, now we can see that. So if, for example, we're working with Quick Access ribbon because it has other commands that we want to use routinely while we're working with MemoQ and the translation grid, now we simply go up on the modified quick access ribbon, select edit inline tag, and there we have 
the text which needs to be translated, and we follow the same procedure as we did for the first tag.